such a goop. Fit? Do I look mentally stable? I think so. I think we are back in business, baby. We're back in business. Are you excited, Leo? Oh, are you so excited? What's going on, vlog? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Samantha Lutz. This is my channel, and I'm just not even going to talk about Vlogmas 2021 or the whole entire year of 2021. I don't even have a recap. My dog's down here, by the way. <laughs> I don't even have a recap for 2021 because I feel like I did nothing. Um, I did like go to Nashville. Like, I feel like that was like the highlight of my year to be very honest with you. And I feel like otherwise I just, it just was like not a very eventful year. Um, it was a lot of like self reflection and like figuring out who I am all that stuff but it is now 2022 it is Tuesday January 4th and I'm very excited to be back on my camera I'm very excited to talk about the plan and my goals for 2022 so I just wanted to intro this video say hi hello Leo says hello also <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next clip so I create a vision board every year in Canva. I'm gonna throw my vision board up right here. This is what it looks like for this year. There's a lot of cool stuff on there that I really want to do. Um, and the number one goal for me this year, fitness wise, is that I'm going to compete again. I'm very excited. And I started prep actually already. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. But basically, my number one goal this year is to compete and to win a class, win an overall, qualify for nationals those are the goals that i'm working towards the last time that i competed if you guys have been around for that long i didn't really have any goal besides stepping on stage and like seeing what i could do and now that i know like what i can do i know that i can do better so i am going to do better and i'm very excited this year to put everything i have into this bikini prep because this is just something I love to do and something I enjoy and something I took a year off of and genuinely missed. So I'm very excited to get back into it. I'm very excited to document it for you guys here on YouTube. And to be honest with you, I haven't been this excited for something <laughs> in a very long time. Um, so I'm just really happy. I don't know if you can tell, but I like have this like fire lit under my ass that I am like working towards something again and it just feels so good, you know? So another goal that I have for this year is to work with more coaching clients. That's just kind of like something I've really been missing in my life. And I feel like I was so overwhelmed last year with the fact that my son now stays home with me all day and I was working a ton of overtime that I now feel like I'm in a place where all of that's kind of like not calm down because it's still crazy um but i have a better like system in place and i know now that we're on like this routine that i can do more i just have to manage my time better and part of that is like bodybuilding in general like i know now that i really have to manage my time and i can't be like messing around with like watching netflix and scrolling on my phone all the time so basically time management and allowing myself more time to put towards coaching as opposed to watching Seinfeld on Netflix, you know? You know, you know? So that is one of my goals for this year is to definitely get back into coaching. And like I said, I don't do coaching full time. I have a full time job, but it is something that I'm actually passionate about that I actually like to do, no, love to do. Like I love helping people. And like I do undercharge <laughs> by a lot. But it's just because I like to help people and I feel like there's a lot of coaches out there that just like to charge a lot because they like to make a lot of money. But I have a job, like I have a full-time job and I just coach because I want to help people understand like how much better you can feel if you just put your health first. So getting back into coaching, one of my goals for 2022. 
So the next goal that I have is to reach a thousand subscribers on this channel. And I know for me personally, that's putting out good content. In 2021, I feel like my videos were just trash. And maybe I'm being too hard on myself because I just overall had a very bad year. I wanna be able to give you guys a real snapshot of what bikini prep is for me, um, why I do it, why I love it. And to be honest with you, that's why I joined this platform in the first place is to document like my finish journey. And I'm just gonna continue doing that because that's what I love. That's who I wanna be on the internet. And I really hope that if you are just watching this video or watching my video for the first time, you will hit that red subscribe button down below. Help me get to a thousand. And I hope you'll stick around for the journey because it's about to be a long one. First of all, I'll be around <laughs> for a while and it's gonna be fun. And another goal that I have for this year is to attend a church service either online or in person. Um, I actually have not attended church in like 15 years probably. Um, and this past year, I've really been getting back into my faith and it has helped me. <laughs> you have no idea. Um, it has helped me so much. And I know that for me, I personally wanna keep going down that road. So I wanna attend either online or in person. I have found a church that I really like to listen to online and it's in my town. So. Getting the courage to go is one of my goals for this year and just to really, again, keep working on myself in that way. So, whew, it has been a journey. Um, I used to be one of those people that kind of was in the way from God and I kind of led it back into my life this past year and I just... All I can say is that I saw a lot of signs and I've never been happier um, and I've had a lot of struggles this past year but I know for a fact that I would be in a much darker place had I not had my faith. So that's all I'm going to say about that. If you really want more on that, I don't like know how to express it but I will try. So yeah, going to church. So those are all of my goal, my big goals really for 2022. Um, one of my major goals is to move out of the house that we are currently in into our forever home. Um, but that's gonna take a lot of work. So that's kind of like what we're working on as a family. Um, but I feel like in 2021, I didn't really put myself first in the sense that I like didn't have any like overarching goals that I was actively working on all the time. I mean, here and there I was like journaling and taking care of myself and overall I had like a wonderful year, but like I didn't have anything that I was like specifically working on like passion or hobby wise and that is what bodybuilding is to me personally. And I just felt like there was like this whole um and there there's nothing else I really at this time of my life want to be doing besides fitness and stuff related to fitness and I tried to like see if there was like anything else I wanted to do in 2021 and there was nothing there that just like made me feel the way I do when I work out when I help others work out um when I'm like doing all of those things and I hope that I'm like explaining that right but I was just missing the fitness part of me and the reason that I like doing fitness in the first place. So in 2022, there's going to be a lot of fitness vlogs. I basically am only fitness on all social medias now. So everything from TikTok to Instagram to Facebook, um, even YouTube, everything is now the same. It's Samantha Lou Fit, so I'll put it right here if you want to follow me on any of those. Um, and all of my stuff is going to be really geared towards fitness because that's the content that I like to make. And that's pretty much just who I want to be. And I don't really give a shit if people think that's my only personality trait because that's the only personality trait that I want to be on the internet. So that's what I've decided and I'm just really excited for this new year like you can literally tell I'm like happy smiling I'm excited and I'm just really pumped for this year and I hope that you will come along for the ride because 
it's gonna be a fun one but it is currently freezing and i'm in the truck right now so it's 34 degrees i am going to take a sip of water because there's still pre-workout dust in my mouth and i'm going to go to the gym and lift back and biceps so thank you guys so much for watching this video i will catch you guys in the next one